welcome to the Silver City Public Library, where we have a few new juvenile chapter books, which I will be going over a couple today. If you read this by Kieran Gettin. When Bree was younger, her mama used to surprise her with treasure hunts around their island town. After her mom died two years ago, these became Bree's favorite memories. Now on Bree's 12th birthday, her mama has another surprise, a series of letters leading Bree on one last treasure hunt. The first letter guides Bree to a special place, the second urges her to unlock a secret, and the last will change life as Bree knows it. In this journey of new memories, surprises, and moments of healing, Karen Gettin beautifully captures the edge of adolescence, where everything is thrilling, amazing, and terrifying in a, in a way it will never be again. Where You've Gotta Be by Carolyn Gartler Nolan didn't expect sixth grade to change everything, but lately her ballet-obsessed big sister is more temperamental than usual and turns away when Noli asks what is wrong. And her best friend Jessa is determined to be older and cooler, and she wants Noli to do the same, even though Noli has always been happy with the way she is. Does she want to be different? Maybe all she needs is a little guidance, a little luck. Grandma won't miss her antique compass, right? And how much will Jessie mind if Noli borrows her lucky necklace? Suddenly, Noli is on a path she doesn't want to be on. And she has real reasons to repent on Yon Kapoor. She finds her way, will she, can she find her way back to where and who she wants to be? The Midnight Children by Jen Jenmanhart. This is a juvenile mystery. In the dead of night, a truck arrives in Slaughterville, a small town curiously named after its windowless slaughterhouse. Seven mysterious kids with suitcases step out of the vehicle and into an abandoned house on a dead end street, looking over their shoulders to make sure they are not noticed. When timid and lonely, Ravine Foster covertly witnesses their arrival from his bedroom window. He is eager to learn everything he can about these new neighbors. What secrets are they hiding? And most mysteriously of all, where are the adults? Amid their shadow the shattered group of children, Ravin finds an unexpected friend in the warm and gusty Virginia. But with their friendship comes secrets revealed and danger. And when Ravin learns of a threat of his new friendship, he must fight to keep them safe or lose the only person who has ever understood him. Sparrow in the Wind by Gail Carson Levine This is a juvenile sci-fi. Cassandra, a princess of Troy and follower of Apollo, is delighted when the god himself appears to her. Apollo asks to love her in exchange for giving her future sight, and she agrees, but recoils when he kisses her. Enraged, the god transforms his gift into a curse. Cassandra's visions will never be believed. After horrifying images of coming war and death pour into her mind, and with no one to heed her warnings, Cassandra risks her own safety again and again to avert the destruction of Troy. But it will take years and the friendship of an Amazon warrior princess named Kin for Cassandra to find hope of success in averting the course of war. As ever with heroines to cheer for and nail-biting adventures, Newbery Honor winner author and author Gail Carson Levine transforms her reader, this time to ancient Troy, where princesses even cursed 
will stop at nothing to shape their fate. Cece Rios and the King of Fears by Kayla Rivera. This is a Jerusalem Zionist sci fi book. Cece Rios thought saving her sister would be the end of her adventures in the world of Cicero. Cis Achores, but with Wahman's soul is still trapped in Devil's Alley. As Cece tries to find a way to get it back using her new Karandera's powers, Wana takes her fate into her own hands and sets off alone, intent on restoring her soul and getting revenge on El Sebron. But they discover the El Kukuri, king of the Ciceros, is hunting her is hunting for Cece, craving her powers for his own dark purposes. Can the real sisters, along with Coyote's little lion and their other Kuratoras allies, uncover his secrets and reclaim Wana's soul or Will the sinister forces of Devil Alley overcome them all? Check out these books and a few more at the Silver City Public Library.